And breaking news coming in, in the baby Ariha case, the MEA has requested the German government to return the child to India immediately. Let's listen in. The Ministry of External Affairs and the Embassy of India Berlin have been persistently advocating for the return of Arya Shah to India. Our efforts have been guided by the best interests of the child, which we believe can be fully realized only when she is in our home country, where her socio-cultural rights can be safeguarded. Accordingly, we have been requesting Germany to return the child to India, sought consular access to the child, as well as cultural immersion at the Indian Cultural Center in Berlin. We urge German authorities to do all that is necessary to send Arya to India at the earliest. Right, I'm joined by my colleague uh, Abhishek Jha on the phone line. So Abhishek, uh, the MEA has sent out that message to the German government. Give us the details of this case. So uh, the case pertains to uh, like uh, it's been almost like more than two years uh, since the, the time when baby Arya was about six to eight months old when uh, during a medical checkup, the German doctors uh, concluded that she has been hurt sexually, uh, but the parents claimed that it it was and uh, you know it was in a way hurt. She was hurt by her grandparents. So, uh, by the law of German authorities, they took the child under foster care, and since then, the parents of Arya have been fighting for her repatriation or uh, being handed over to the to them or to some Indian families because now they claim that. Baby Ariha is being raised in a culturally and linguistically total alien society. The matter has been raised by, uh, by the highest officials uh, from Indian side in Germany, in Berlin, in, in, in German embassy in India. The matter is being pursued by the uh, Ministry, uh, Ministry of External Affairs for continuously, but since uh, now, even now, the matter has not been concluded and Ariha continues to remain in the care of German authorities. Uh, now, the Indian government has even now today, uh, the foreign ministry spokesperson in the back here said that uh, the baby areas, the inalienable rights are being violated and they have been urging and pursuing her case uh, for early, uh, you know, uh, early uh, being, being taken or uh, being given back to her parents. Uh, remember, she is, uh, the, her parents have claimed that she, uh, coming from a giant family, uh, she's not being raised properly, uh, bereft of her cultural, her religious and her uh, uh, other uh, social roots, and they have been said uh, that Berlin Child Service has filed a civil custody case to terminate the parental rights to the Shah couple, and the lawsuit will take two, three years to complete, and the parents fear that uh, during this whole continuity, uh, even if they are found to be fit to, uh, to take care of the child, uh, the German authorities may keep the child uh, forever uh, under their custody. So there's a lot of complication because of the German legal system, uh, while Amir is pursuing the case uh, for almost two years now. Right, I'm also joined by Yesha Kotak uh, on the phone. And Yesha, so the German government has leveled serious charges against Ariha Shah's family. What's the latest you're getting in from the family? Uh, so, in fact, these uh, allegations which were leveled against Ariha uh, Arya Shah's family, which seem that the family has signed in again, also met uh, various uh, officials and uh, senior leaders from Maharashtra. More recently, last week, they had met... Uh, Chief Minister Eknath Sinde, and uh, they requested saying that all these charges which have been leveled against them are actually false. They had in fact also come with these documents and the judgment copy, uh, which was passed by a German court, is what the claims have been made by the family, saying that the court has in fact uh, cleared them of all these charges, such as that of sexual assault. Uh, but however, it is the German foster care which is not handing over their child to them. Uh, we've seen that because they met uh, Eknath Sinde last week, a letter was sent. Uh, from the CMO uh, to the Ministry of External Affairs, requesting to give uh, give the family a, 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 a meeting so that they could discuss uh, this entire situation. Uh, like we rightly mentioned, the case has been on for the last two years now. The situation that parents have expressed before uh, the Chief Minister is uh, such uh, that uh, because the visa expires in the next two months, as per the latest orders uh, of uh, of uh, the German court, the child has been sent. Uh, so this particular foster care from which she cannot uh, return, which is why they've come back to India and are requesting authorities to intervene in this matter. Their concern is that if they not get the child back in the next two months, uh, while they leave from Germany, they'll not be able to uh, get the custody of their child back ever. This has been the concern that they've expressed time and again. In fact, um, just two months back when they were in India, uh, they exclusively spoken to CNN, 
are an express concern about how uh, they've had a long legal battle uh, that they've uh, fought over a period of time, despite uh, the fact that uh, um, that the court has cleared them uh, is where the battle is still on. And they also alleged that there are various such um, children from across uh, the world who are taken into such uh, foster care and at level such serious charges against uh, the German authorities. Yes. Right. Right. Thank you, Yasha and Abhishek, for getting us the latest when it comes to the the kind of the entire uh, case to bring baby Ariha uh, back home. We're going to take a quick break.